Mr. President, our most advanced nuclear weapon was stolen this morning. Good God. I pray we would never see this day. We have no choice. We need to move you to a safe location immediately. No. Roberts, there's another option. Operation 7059320A9. You mean Jackson? That's impossible. It went AWOL years ago, sir. That's what we wanted the public to believe. Truth is, I personally ordered him to protect the codes that would disarm the missile should it ever come missing. Why didn't you tell me? Because he's the only one I can trust. How do you know you still can? When I asked him to do this, he gave up everything. I do. And do you, Jackson, take Molly to be your lawfully wedded wife? I... Jackson, we need you to hide the nation's deepest, darkest secrets in an undisclosed location. Otherwise, everyone you know and love will die. You what? I have to go. Now, here's our last hope to stop this nuclear weapon from going off. I need you to reactivate the rest of our agents, find Jackson, and get those codes. Yes, sir. Next. Please, leave me. Ah, oh, damn it. Whatever. I could buy this whole court if I wanted to. What do you want, Roberts? I told you, I'm retired. Agent Tanner, we need you back in the field. Get the code 70593-2089. It's a 70593-2089? I'm in. No, no, I can't, I'm retired. 70593-2089? I'm in. 705-932089. I'm in. I really can't help you. I'm retired. Sorry, I'm retired. You got this number, you know I'm retired. 705-932089. I'm in. Okay, I'm in. How do I answer this darn thing? Copley, I told you I'm retired. It's a 705-932089. The car will pick you up at 1700 hours. That's when they're having the puppet show. Sorry, I can't help you. I need to turn this stupid thing off. Uh... Mr. Jackson, what is that you hold in your hands? Oh, this? It's just something I don't believe in anymore. Your father? I told you to never ask me about my father. But don't be so sad, Mr. Jackson. This island is paradise. But you have everything you need right here. This beach. What more could you ask for? Don't ever change, Baco. I've got my whole life here. Why should I leave? Well, they say you're the only one that could save this country. Good time to psycho. The rarest watch in the world. How'd you find that? <laughs> ah, that's nothing. Listen, your country needs you. I left that life behind me a long time ago. You should know Molly's gonna be on the case. I'm in. Jackson, we've been sailing for three days. Where are the codes? I hit the codes 400 miles out deep underwater so no one could find them. Good luck. Thanks. I don't need it though. Jackson, looks like you're getting kind of deep down there. Is uh, everything all right? Yeah, I, I just need to murder these sharks. Moving on. It's actually good to see you, Tanner. Being alone all this time has really made me think about what's important in life. I can't wait to see Molly again. Yeah. While you're down there, there's something you should know. Molly and I are engaged. My God. I know I should have asked if it was okay with you, but I didn't. No, this is where I left the briefcase with the codes. It's gone. I failed. Tell the president I'm going to continue to live my life in seclusion on this island until I see a sign to return. Maybe that's for the best. Lost them. That doesn't sound right. So now what? 
Well, if those codes are missing, then that means somebody else has them. Is it you, Roberts, you fucking carrot cake son of a bitch? No. Just checking. I guess all there's left to do is wait and hope that nothing happens. Hallucinogenic. Strange. Tell the president I'm going to continue to live my life in seclusion on this island until I see a sign to return. It's time. All right, I'm headed out. Okay, see you tonight, honey. Yeah, maybe. Love you. All right, I'll, uh, I'll be back when I'm back. North Korea, how are you? <laughs> Terrific, fantastic. Uh, you know that watch you gave me in exchange for the missile codes? Well, it broke, and I'm gonna need you to make it up to me. Jackson? Jackson, is that you? I think you have me confused with someone else. Oh, it's just that I once knew someone who looks and sounds exactly like you. What's your name? Jack. Just Jack. Oh, it's just that this person you sound like could never hide how sad and alone he was. Just like you. Sad? I'm not, I'm not sad. I'm perfectly happy with every decision I ever made. I'm sorry. I need to go. See you around. Just Jack. I need a reading on that EKD stat. We're going to lose this patient. Hello? Agent Tierney. I need you to look up a government issue prescription. Jackson, is that you? Are you back? There's no time! I need it now! Put this emergency heart transplant on standby. Let me see. It's a top secret experimental drug. Only someone with access to the highest level of government could get that. How high up? This medication has only been prescribed to one person. The President of the United States. Hey Webster, you got a sec? Yeah, sure thing. What can I do for you? This is gonna sound crazy, but have you ever met somebody for the first time, but it feels like you've known them your entire life? I don't know. I just deal with computers. They're a lot simpler than people. You got that right. Anyway, I need you to trace a cell for me. No problem. Let me give you some information. His name is Jack. Let me know what you can find. I'll see what I can do. All right, there could be people listening in though, so be careful. I'm always careful. Thank you for the heads up, Agent Infant. I'll be sure to let the President know. I want this to be law by tomorrow. Make it happen, Roberts. Yes, sir. But before we begin, there's... Not now. Agent Tanner, is there any update on that missile that went missing five years ago? Not today, but I'll keep my eye out. Jackson! You used me. What? No, what are you talking about? I found your pills on the island. The place you caged me for five years. Jackson, I can explain. You're the only one with this prescription, which means you made me lose five years of my life. And the only thing I loved. Somehow my medications ended up in Jackson's hands. What medication? I take a non-FDA approved hallucinogenic just to take the edge off. This job can be stressful. 
How did Jackson end up with my pills? All I know is, when a dog is rabid, No. No, we can't. Why not? He knows the country's greatest secret. What is it? Even I don't know. Something to do with the flag? Each star's a state? Maybe. Damn it! Roberts! How did we not see this coming? Oh, is that what you were going to tell me earlier? Yes, sir. Doesn't matter! We should have had that info days ago! You gotta get your people in line, Roberts! Agent Infant, you embarrassed me in front of the President of the United States. Oh, oh no, 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 Agent Infant, don't, don't cry. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. Hey, sorry, I couldn't find anything on this Jack guy. First time that's happened. It's not your fault. I think it was just my mind playing tricks on me. Oh, hi Jack. What's going on? Hey, Molly, I have something to tell you. My name isn't Jack. <gasps> it's me, Jackson. Oh my God. Missing new codes. Are you sure you didn't just forget where you hid them? I never forget. Oh yeah? What color are my eyes? Blue. So how could you not remember? I was drugged. I found these pills on the island. I was used by the president. Whatever happened in the past doesn't matter now. That missile is still out there. Your country needs you. Do you need me? I, I can't. I'm with Tanner now. Every night when I was on the island, I would look up at the stars and I could only think of you. Jackson, don't do this. Somebody is trying to destroy America. We have to do something. Mr. President, have you thought about my idea to take Jackson out? I can't shake the feeling that there is a traitor amongst our ranks. You do what you gotta do. Kill him? Is it a direct order? Well, that's what the president said. Sure wasn't my idea. It sounds like things are getting pretty hairy on your end. Seems like you could use some backup. No guns. Not this time. Yeah, so if anyone comes after you, I'm gonna point them in the opposite direction. By point, I mean stab gratuitously. No swords. Not this time. <sighs> no naps. Not this time. Too hot. Too hot. Jackson, I heard you could use some backup. Cheers, guys. Can you believe it's been five years since the nuclear missiles were stolen? Good thing nothing happened, right? It's also been five years since Molly and I got married and I got myself a little gift. Cheers. Got room for one more? Jackson, uh, how the hell are you? More alone than you could possibly imagine. You? Well, you know me, it's all ones and zeros. Let's not get too technical, buddy. What the hell are you doing here? He's back to help us find out what happened to those missing codes. They were stolen. Stolen? You know, whoever took them is gonna use them one day. The radar was showing activity in that area on the 16th at 1800 hours. Jackson, what were you doing then? I was sitting on the beach. Wondering if my soul could ever be redeemed. What else was happening, Jackson? I was talking to a friend of mine, Paco. He made me a drink. Think, Jackson. Think harder. He's looking more and more like his father each day. Let's make another. Hold on, hold on. You mentioned someone named Paco? That was a little later. Have a drink, Mr. Jackson. I need those codes, Mr. Jackson. Where are the codes? I take a non-FDA approved hallucinogenic. Just take the edge off. Keep drinking, Mr. Jackson. 
Where are those new codes hidden? Coordinates. Three, eight, seven, six, five. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You were Paco? Took you long enough to figure it out. What about my island wife? I was also her. Wait, what? I went deep undercover. Best not to dwell on that. The point is I took the new codes and sold them. How was there a baby? Yeah. Why wait till now? So, Jackson can see his country burn. I just got a call from North Korea. Turns out the missiles are gonna be launched at the White House today. What about my island wife? I can't believe it. We were married! Have you ever been in an infinity pool? Marrying you wasn't gonna make me rich, but selling the new codes did. I just got a $500 haircut. You're a monster. A rich monster with an expensive haircut. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Whenever all hope is lost, I tend to read this old scroll written by Thomas Jefferson. That's the Declaration of Independence, you idiot. Looks like you should have spent more time in school. Anyways, what time is it? Well, only five minutes till the nukes go off. I'm out of here. So I guess our anniversary dinner is canceled? Yeah, just watched it. Looks great. Listen, I'm gonna need a helicopter stat. They're on to me. I'm also gonna need an infinity pool. It's been a crazy week. Well, I guess this is the end. You did everything you could, Mr. President. Jesus! The hell are you doing here, Roberts? I thought I was alone. I've been here for an hour. I just... I just thought you wouldn't want to be by yourself when the missile hits. Whoa. No, I'm okay, you can go. We take an expert team of 50 special ops agents to override this launch. Jackson, we have to do something. The only way I can save the world is if I know there's a chance for the two of us to have a life together. You left me at the altar to strand yourself on an island and had a baby with a native woman who turned out to be my husband. Jackson, there's no hope for us, and there's no time. The only thing we can do is sit here and wait to die. Not if I can help it. Jackson, what are you doing? Punch these numbers in! Eight, three, four, six, two, nine, seven, eight, eight, four, six, two. Oh my god. This could work. Four, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we're almost there. One, three, five, three. Jackson, I didn't mean what I said before. There is hope for us. Okay. Three, four, four, eight, six, four, three, eight, eight, three. We've got the location of the missile. We need a fighter pilot in the air now. I'm already there. All systems a go, Copley. You got it, Jackson. Shit, yeah, fuck. Thanks, Scopely. No problem. I'd come and say hi, but I have bingo in half an hour, so I have to get going. All right. I'll see you later, Dad. Okay, how do I turn this stupid thing off? Jackson? How are you alive? I guess you didn't know about America's greatest secret, the nuke override codes. What? Thomas Jefferson knew that one day his vision of a perfect country could be corrupted by men like you. The Declaration of Independence was his way of letting us know that the nuke override codes were hidden in the American flag, just in case this day ever came. That's the secret in the flag. I guess you should have paid more attention in school. Jackson, you've done it again. One thing I've learned during this whole ordeal is that this job is just too darn stressful for me. How'd you like to take it off my hands? I'm sorry, Mr. President. 
Maybe next time. <laughs> well, all right. At the very least, just wanted to thank you. And no one else. I'm gonna hang up now. I just got offered a job. I turned it down though because I care about you more. What job was that? Sitting on an island for five years? Something like that. So what exactly is the deal with the flag? It's something I believe in. No, I mean, how did you know there were hidden numbers on the American flag? I just had faith. That was lucky. If only we had been able to catch Tanner, today would have been perfect. We should go. Wait, I can't. It's too soon. I just found out my husband was living a double life as an indigenous woman in order to seduce you and sell a missile to North Korea. It's a lot. I think I need a break from all of this. I think we both do. You're right. We should live in peace until we see a sign to return. Oh, come on. Why won't this stupid thing turn off? I decided to save the world, despite the fact that I was so depressed. When Molly told me that there was hope for our love, I was ready to stop the missile from destroying the White House. Also, I murdered those sharks in self-defense. The end. It's time.